What's going on Salt Strong Nation? Today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about when you should use light colored versus dark colored lures. And this is a question that's come up a lot in our community since we just most recently released the Fred, the Fooling Redfish Everyday Paddle Tail, and the Gold Digger Paddle Tail. And these are two very contrasting colors, very dark color and a very light color. And a lot of questions have risen as to when each should be used. And what I'm gonna do in this video today is highlight light lures versus dark lures and when you should use each one. And I'm gonna be using these two as examples. And if you guys wanna pick up either of these paddle tails we do have them at fishstrong.com at 20 percent off for salt strong insiders but know that the concepts of light and dark lures are going to apply regardless of the colors that you use these are just two examples of great paddle tails that you can use again in light versus dark color scenarios now to talk about the dark color lures first when we're going to use dark colors is when we're trying to create contrast and the reason for this is whether you're fishing a flat that is traditionally dirty you know let's say it's a mud flat that a lot of times will have sediment throughout the year in the water or or if you're fishing a flat that is you know usually clear but you might have had a rainstorm that's created a lot of heavy winds and turbidity in the water where you've got a little bit of that red tint and what's going to happen is fish aren't necessarily hunting by what they can see they're more hunting by shadows they can see that there's something moving in the water there's a shadow and what we need to do is create contrast against the darker water around it so it almost is a little bit difficult to understand at first but if you think in terms of shadows and what's going to create an outline for fish to see this is a little bit better now an extra added benefit of using a dark lure that's got some flash to it is that it's also going to pick up some of the light that is penetrating the surface of the water because when you get darker water less light is able to penetrate through the surface and actually shine in and show fish what is going on around them again the way that light works is it bounces off of a subject it's transmitted to our eyes it's transmitted to fish's eyes and it, the darker colors do a good job of absorbing that light and creating a contrasting color and lighter colors do a good job of reflecting that light What's easier for fish to see in darker water is outlines, but what also is good for them is really heavy flash, which is why we see spoons work really well in dark water as well. So what we did, and again, creating the gold digger to be a good lure to use in dark water, was added the benefit of basically a black contrasting color of lure and added some really heavy gold flash into it. So we had the benefits of a spoon where you've got the flash if there is some light penetration on the surface of that water to attract some attention, but also create some really good contrast on the outline of the lure so that those fish can pick it up even in really turbid water really muddy water just makes it easy for them to key in on that lure and see where it's moving now to talk about light lures traditionally what we're going to be using these lures in is just really clear water that fish are now hunting by what they can see again when there's no dirtiness or sediment in the water there's more light that's able to penetrate through the surface and fish can more clearly see what's going on so they are less hunting by shadows because that's not as prevalent and they are more hunting by the actual features of lures now that's not to say that you're going to want to have a ton of contrast because that can actually scare fish away I'm sure a lot of us have been in sight fishing scenarios where we've thrown a lure up to a fish and it's actually spooked it off it's definitely seen it but the lure actually spooks the fish off and the balance of having something subtle and having something contrasting is where the light and clear water actually can become more challenging to fish than the darker water because again fish are just hunting by outlines and contrasts in dark water but they will pick up on small features in clear water that might actually spook them off so it's really important to be a little bit more considerate with your color choice in clear water which is why we usually do recommend white as it does take on the tint of the water around it and it presents a really good kind of clarity uh, in terms of what your lure should look like in that water but something else that works really well is kind of transparent lure and lures that have a little bit of transparency to them. As we know, shrimp usually do have transparent bodies. Small bait fish have transparency to them. So we'll see lures like pink and silver that have a little bit of a transparent quality to them uh, work really well in clear water scenarios because they're a little bit more subtle, but they are noticeable. Again, we wanted to add a little bit of flash, so we put in the pink sparkles on our Fred, fooling redfish every day, but also wanted to keep that kind of pink transparency so that it would provide a subtle but noticeable profile. So having a balance of a lure that is, again, light colored, so it's not going to be too contrasting and scare fish off is really important when we're fishing those really clear water scenarios. But we also wanna be noticeable, which is, again, why we included the pink flash. And this really actually works well, even when you take the tail off. As I said, the vibration of the lure is really important when you're fishing deep, really dirty water. But what I've done recently is I've actually been pulling the tails off of these threads because, again, fish are keying in on the actual 
profile of the lure. They're looking at it and they can see how it's moving. And I find that the erratic motions in really shallow water can be really useful. So I've actually been pulling the tails off and using these almost as a small shrimp imitation. Double twitch pausing it on really clear grass flats as you guys can see in this video versus the footage from earlier where this is the same flat, but one day when I was using the gold digger, it was dirty and then now it's clear. I'm able to get onto fish a little bit more easily in clear water scenarios by using a more transparent and less contrasting lure. Again, the subtlety is really important. So I know this is a little bit of a complex subject and I do have a color chart that kind of helps you guys understand how different water clarities and water depths can even affect the lure presentation. As you guys can see, some of these colors are going to be affected at different depths and different clarities of water. So it's really important that you do have a choice in mind as to what you're going to use in different water scenarios. But we do recommend if you aren't sure, because this can be a very confusing subject, to just go ahead and choose white, which is why we designed the Slam Shady to mimic a bait fish that is in any water scenario, whether it be clear or it be dirty. And it just works in a wide variety of scenarios. But if you are trying to fine tune your presentation to the clarity of the water that you are fishing, make sure that you choose these darker lures for water that is really turbid, really dirty, uh, and there's a lot of contrast that's going to need to be created to get those fish's attention and that you use the lighter more subtle lures in those clear water scenarios because fish can definitely pick up on what's going on around them and you don't want to be too contrasting and too noticeable because it can actually spook those fish off. So I hope that explanation was helpful for you guys, but because this is a very complex subject and there are a lot of different ideas out there about what should work in what different color scenario, some people will tell you chartreuse is great for dirty water, and that is true. It can be very contrasting, but at the same time, it can be a little unnatural. And there are a lot of people that will tell you that red is the best color for clear water because fish can actually pick up on those contrasting colors a little bit better in clear water. So there's a lot of different theories out there, but I would like to create a discussion in the comments below as to what you guys' favorite colors are and maybe we can come to a good conclusion there. Again, what would you guys' favorite colors be for dirty water and clear water? I'd love to hear from you guys, so please put those answers in the comment section below, and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next video. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we literally guarantee we're gonna help you catch more fish while saving time and money on your tackle. We do this by providing you with premium education, a private insider community with thousands of reports published daily, and discounts on the best saltwater fishing tackle in the industry right now. So we're looking forward to seeing you join us in the Salt Strong Insider Club soon, and thanks again for watching.